snow cone mini one shot. Next poll for a part two is going to be interesting. Everyone wants both ascending picks and a trader part two. I'm betting sending picks wins, ya pevers. Ochako was tired. She was starting to get used to getting up early every now and then for some training or if you. A. Had a early class session. But at least then she would get some sleep and right now it seemed more and more likely that she wouldn't be getting any. It was already past 1 a.m. and she still had some homework left. I wonder if anyone else is up doing this. I doubt Momo, Iida, or Deku is they probably finished hours ago, Ochako thought as she turned the page. She's been up for too long. She really needed sleep but at the same time she needed to finish her work. Being a student at U. A. was not easy. She grabbed her pink mug to take a sip but it was empty of any kind of liquid for her. Out of coffee, Ochako thought to herself seeing her empty mug. If not for her coffee she would have passed out hours ago. With a sigh she picked up her mug and got out of her chair. She opened her door looked down the hallway to make sure it was clear. It was way past curfew and the last thing she needed right now was Iida chewing her out. Once she was sure nobody else was up she quietly went in the hallway and she made her way down to the kitchen. She found nobody else was there and she went to the coffee machine that everyone had to share. It was pretty nice. On the good side it was really quiet but it was also pretty slow so it would take a bit of time. Ochako placed her mug down and she pressed a few buttons letting it do its work. She leaned up against the counter as she rubbed her eyes. She would probably need more than one cup to stay awake. Squeak. Ochako heard a noise. She looked in the darkness trying to see if something or someone was there. H hello. Ochako called out seeing if she could get a response. Uraraka. Ochako heard a familiar voice. Deku. Ochako recognized the voice instantly. She watched as Izuku stepped into the moonlight that was shining through the windows. Hey, what are you doing up? Izuku asked walking over to her. I was getting some coffee, Ochako responded. It's pretty late for that don't you think? Izuku asked leaning against the counter. I have to stay awake so I can finish our homework for school, Ochako took her mug after it was ready. Homework. Izuku questioned. Yeah all the ones due today since it's past midnight, Ochako took a sip of her coffee. But it's not due till tomorrow. Today is Sunday now, Izuku watched Ochako slap herself in the face. Is it really? Damn it. I'm so tired I thought it was Monday now, Ochako felt embarrassed. Yeah it is maybe you should go to sleep and finish it later, Izuku suggested. I guess I should. Ochako dumped her coffee into the sink now that she no longer needed it. Want me to walk back with you? Izuku suggested. Ochako turned just a little bit pink at his offer. She would probably have turned full red but she was too tired too. Sure, Ochako accepted his offer. As they walked a question popped into her head. Hey Deku, what are you doing up so early? Ochako asked walking alongside him. I, I spent too much time training outside and I didn't realize it was this late until I took a break, Izuku admitted making Ochako a bit angry at him. That's pretty reckless to be training so late. You need to let your body rest, Ochako scolded him for his actions. I I know, I just lost time is all, Izuku felt a little ashamed. I guess I will forgive you. This time, Ochako playfully teased at him with her tongue out. They soon came to the door of Ochako's room. Thank for walking with me Deku, Ochako thanked him for spending time with him. It's no problem, I'll see you tomorrow, Izuku waved goodbye to her and was about to leave, however. 
Ochako didn't know what it was. The lack of sleep that made her not able to think straight or the fact that her crush was getting out of hand. Probably both. And what both had just made her do was have her lip make contact with his right cheek. And she didn't mean to something in her body made her do it against her will. Not that she didn't want or anything. She was just lucky enough that it was too dark for him to see her blush. That also meant that she couldn't see his either as well. Yu Uraraka. Izuku held his cheek where she just kissed. Quote dot 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 quote. She couldn't say anything. She didn't even know what to say. What would you say if you suddenly kissed someone without permission or meaning to? W-H-Y did you do that? He asked waiting for an explanation. I, I, I guess I it was just cause of instinct. Ochako wanted to die right now, I instinct. Izuku didn't quite understand. I, I just, I'm tired and I am not thinking right. I guess, Ochako wanted to get out of this as soon as possible. T that makes sense, Izuku didn't really think that but he wanted to get out of this as soon as possible. It was just too awkward between them to say anything or do anything else. W well good night. Ochako threw her door open and shut it behind her sliding down to the ground covering her face with her hands. Stupid stupid. Stupid, Ochako told herself over and over. Gee good night then, Izuku said from the other side at the door. Ochako didn't relax until she heard his footsteps fade away signaling that she left. She took a seat back at her school work. She closed up her books and pencils and pens away and laid down on her bed. She was so glad that she didn't have school in the morning so she could avoid Izuku and give them some time to let what happened settle down. She put a finger on her lips that she used to kiss Izuku with. Hum I wonder if I can use that same excuse to kiss him Aga and Ochako thought smiling as she went to sleep pulling the blankets over her body. Sorry for the wait. College is really hard and I have to go to the doctor soon as- Finally we can relate. Our side by side is vain. I knew all along we'd find some way to come here.